Ferries have been a traditional means of transportation since the dawn of man for moving cargo across rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water. Before the, before the building of the Chesapeake Bridge, I can remember, I, that shows you how old I am, it was a ferry that carried passengers across to the eastern shore. And even further down in Delaware, the Cape May to Lewis uh, Ferry linking New Jersey and Delaware continues to run. Locally, early travelers who wanted to cross the Potomac into Virginia have taken a ferry known as White's Ferry between, between the states. You know, it's not a very large, large uh, ship or boat, if you want to call it that. It's a rather small operation. And now financial considerations have forced the owner to sell or shut down any last minute effort to save the ferry to sell it to, to a private developer has failed. Marise, it's, it's, it's looked at that the state of Maryland might be the ultimate survivor and, and purchase the, the vital link between Montgomery County and Loudoun County, Virginia. What do you think? No, I think that um, this, it was kind of, a, you know, I was impressed by the coalition that was built because it's my understanding that the first purchase or the offer to purchase was 1.1 million between the folks um, in Virginia, so Loudoun County, Montgomery County, as well as the original owners. Um, and I think right now the fight is about, not about having a flat fee. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I took real property, um, Casey, but um, it's my understanding that on the Virginia uh, the side, there's an offer from the current uh, Rockland owners, the family, I believe it's uh, Miss Devlin, um, is offering to, to, to uh, have a permanent easement, but more based on um, on the density or the flow of, of cars. Right. So, you know, it's it's getting really technical in terms of real property, but it, it looks like, you know, there has been some consensus as to, you know, whether uh, it's going to be for public use. Um, and so that, you know, so that Marylanders and, Vir and Virginians can continue to use that area. Well, it, it really comes down to dollars and cents, I think, as to um, what's going to happen. But Lori, you know, there are those that are proposing an alternative opinion that the state should look to develop the outer beltway crossing, do, you know, linking Route 28 in Maryland and Virginia and, you know, do away with the ferry. Let's let's get let's get into the 21st century here <laughs> and build a roadway. Build a bridge. Yeah, uh, yeah. So um, the the ag reserve. That's that's the issue. It's right there. Oh, that's the the, that's the alleged issue. Well, I mean, they're they're so strongly um, guarding the ag reserve for good reason. Uh, and so there's so many passionate um, people. They're gonna they're gonna fight it if there's gonna be anything that's gonna go through their ag reserve. Um, but I think um, you know, if, what if there's something in it for the for the ag reserve if they built a small bridge? Uh, that's what I think. Maybe we, we well, we should get input from the ag reserve. But what if a solution would be to build a small bridge and then charge a, 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 um, a toll, and a portion of that toll would go toward the ag reserve in some way? Um, and maybe there would be some agreement on that. It would still keep the uh, traffic small uh, if the toll was high enough, but it would also help the ag reserve. So that's, that's I think, a happy medium. We, we still need something better than that, though, uh, somewhere else to, to give uh, people a, another option besides the American Legion. Well, they need to have reliable, a reliable means of transportation. I mean, that, yeah. let, let's, let's face it, there are bottlenecks uh, that prevent, you know, prevent you from crossing and to have something like White's Ferry or an alternative bridge would be a wonderful uh, development if we if we could we could it would I mean and just to go back to a ferry I mean come on we don't need a ferry we can put a little bridge there uh, what's the problem with that um, let, let's get up with uh, with the times well, you know, Lori, I agree with you totally. I never liked Joni Mitchell. I'm willing to, you know, to to uh, p uh, pave paradise and build a yes. bridge there. So let's do that instead. Yeah, I mean, I've never taken the ferry, and you know, and I feel kind of bad that I didn't even do that before. But um, but I I would um, you know, I I it, I've heard that's a really good way to go. It, it helps save time. So if well, we had a road, that would save even more time. You know. I agree.